Well, we're back here at Duelist Den, and today I've got a custom Ruger Mark IV. This is the Black Hills Commemorative Pistol, and it is a beauty. Black Hills did this absolutely right, and I want to thank my friends at Black Hills and at Ruger for coming up with such a, a great little pistol. So, we'll go over the features, and then we'll do some plinking with it. Well, the Black Hills Commemorative Mark IV is a really nice package. Uh, it's got this green anodized barrel shroud. Uh, it's actually the frame. It has Black Hills laser engraved on it and Black Hills serial number range. Uh, of course, it has adjustable sights. Typical Mark IV features. The, the thing that makes a Ruger Mark IV particularly useful is that the grip design is copied pretty much exactly from a 1911. So the safety is in the same spot which means that you can operate it exactly as you would a 1911. The slide stop is in uh, basically the same spot. The grip design is exactly like a 1911's and even though the trigger is different being it's a pivoted trigger it's in about the same position as a 1911 trigger and it feels pretty much like a 1911. So, instead of training with expensive 45 ACP ammo, you can get in quite a bit of training with this if you're a 1911 shooter and shoot much less expensive 22 long rifle ammunition. So, all in all, an excellent concept. And uh, the Black Hills commemorative version of it is just gorgeous. Well, Black Hills sent me their Ruger Mark IV with uh, an extra set of grips, a walnut set of grips from Harrods that were laser engraved uh, with the Black Hills logo on them. And as much as I like them, I mean, they're very attractive, the regular black hard rubber grips actually feel better in my hand. So that's what I'm using for, for this uh, video. We're down here with Evil Roy, and let's see if uh, the Ruger Mark IV can tickle his plates a little bit. And by the way, if you've uh, noticed this holster, this is uh, by Badlands Leather, and it was part of the package uh, with the Black Hills commemorative Ruger Mark IV, uh, Black Hills Ammunition commemorative. So it's an excellent holster. Thank you very much, Badlands Leather. And thanks again, Black Hills Ammo. So let's try them one-handed, see if we can tickle that plate a little bit. Okay, <laughs> that'll show Evil Roy. Well, I've been here all day, and the sun is finally making an appearance, however briefly, but we'll take it. Uh, you know, one of the great things about a 22 is just plinking, right? Shooting bottles and cans off the fence post, uh, the kind of thing that I was able to do when I was a kid, and I'm afraid probably a lot of you can't do because it's certainly not allowed at any of the ranges I belong to. But here at Duelist Den, I make the rules. So I'm going to shoot some plastic water bottles off of the, uh, off of the Swing City post and kind of recapture my youth, those days of long, long, long ago. So let's see if I can hit them uh, with the Ruger Mark IV. Of course, it would be wise if I actually loaded it. <laughs> All right, let's try that with a loaded gun this time. I 
All right, that's always fun. Well, my last water bottle is flanked by a pair of steel rams, and we'll see if the uh, little 22 can knock them over or not. Well, I got a twofer on the rams when that water bottle went over. I think I'm going to set the rams up again and, and take them down on their own. All right, let's set, go for the rams again. Got them.